Okay, if you imagine um, what we're going to have, if you can visualize it, is we're going to have a box in the middle with a question mark in, which is where the computer number is it's not stored there, but you know, look, it will look like that uh, to the user. And then either side, we're going to have an up or a down arrow that will appear depending on whether their guess is higher or lower. So let's start by making the question mark. So we'll call this um, add a comp num box. Okay, computer number box. So just so I know what it means if we look back at the code. So again, Q label. So we're going to say comp number uh, equals Q label with a capital L. As I won't fall for that drop again. Um, question mark. We then need to set the alignment. I'm just going to copy that from up here and change what it's referring to. Um, now, you can also do things here. So when I add a double with this to the nine, I made this little program. I ended up setting a minimum height. So I found that if you want to, with a grid, there might be a better way of doing this, but didn't work it out when I was having a look the other night, but it's quite new to me. Um, if you want to set the sort of height or the or the width of a column or a row, um, one way of doing it is um, by setting the height or whatever of an element within it. So if I make this comp num um, to have a minimum height, that means it won't go below this. So nothing within this uh, this row could go below this if I'm setting this to have a minimum size and not minimum size, minimum height. I want. And I'm just going to pass it a number. So I'm going to pass it 150. So you don't have to do that, but you'll see the difference later on if you take that out. And then this is going to be a bit more in depth, but you'll start to see how powerful CSS could be. And this is only like the tip of the iceberg. Um, so I'm going to say, set style sheet like we've done before but this time i'm going to add a lot more stuff so i don't know why i'm going in so far so let's go for first let's go for um font size keep it nice and simple and we'll have that as 45 pixels and then we need our semicolon and then we move to the next line that easy. I'm going to set the color of it. This is the color of the font to white, which remember I could have put hex code in there. Um, I'm going to add padding. So padding is within the item itself, how much padding the text has got from what we're going to add, which is backgrounds and borders. So padding is within, um, I'm sure this is, we see the other way around, there's padding and margin. So I think margin might be within Padding is how much the element is away from other elements. Actually, I think it's that way around. But I worked out the other night and I forgot already, which is good. So I'm just going to have a two pixel padding all the way around. So this is again, I uh, can't remember what order these come in, but it's like left, right, up, down, or something like that. It might be up, down, left, right, actually. I think it is. I think that's how much padding at the top, bottom, left, and right. But you, you'll, as you play around, you'll know if you if I've said that wrong. Um, margin. Um, it's definitely not what I just said actually because I've looked at what I put last time. I put 0, 20, 0, 20. So I wouldn't have done, if it was top, bottom, left and right, I'm doing bottom and right here so that I wouldn't have done that. So this is either the top and the bottom or it's likely to be the left and the right i probably added some padding because on the sides i'm going to have the arrows so this was me probably adding a bit of a margin around the edge of my element or within it uh, who knows i'd need to play with this to remind myself what order they come in um background i'm going to add a hex color so uh, we will have um color i got from my color picker which was 64 a314 uh, semicolon I forgot those after these you need your semicolons on the end of each line 
Um, and now this border radius is quite nice. Uh, it's a way of um, adding a sort of bevel, I think you call it, you know, like a curve on the corners to your border. So I'm gonna have a border radius of 30. And the 30 is like, you imagine a circle, that's sort of how it would follow. I probably, I think it doesn't matter if I'd add it afterwards, but I'll add it before. I'll put a border in as well, if we need a border. So it's gonna be two pixels thick. It's gonna be solid, because you can have like dotted lines and stuff. And it's gonna be color, again, color picker job. Um, so we'll do go for the six four a three one four so six four a three one four so we'll keep it the same color as the background so you won't notice you've got it but the bevel will make it clear um and then it's just a case of adding it so self dot grid dot add widget and we're going to add self dot comp I did capital C, not comp num. Self dot comp num. And now this is where it will get a bit weird. So I'm going to say column uh, row two, sorry, because I've got things in row one and row zero. So I'm going to say row two. But I'm going to say column one. So that's um, if I'm going to have three columns, I've got zero, one, and two. So if I've got zero, one, and two, one's in the middle. So I'm going to have my arrows either side. I'm going to say one. From one, so it's spanning one column and one row, um, and that will keep it together. Let's space these out because it's a bit neater. I don't know why I'm spacing out like that, that looks weird. There we go, right? So that's gonna work, and if we run that. So that has not worked as I wanted it to, because I haven't. It hasn't used any of my style sheet stuff. So the question is, why? So what have I missed? Again. Took me a minute to work it out. It's just a semicolon, and that's working fine. So that's what I wanted it to look like. Um, the color isn't working. If you notice, look, color white. It's still black, but that's because it's American spelling of color, not English. But you can see now that's working absolutely fine. So um, again. Another little silly error from me, but it's just all syntax errors. They're very, very small, but doesn't stop them being annoying. Um, and now it's picked up all of that style stuff because without that semicolon, some of this style stuff, well, it wasn't coming through because it was invalid. So that style sheet was invalid. Um, so that's that working. In the next little video, I'll show you how to add an up or down arrow on either side. Uh, which we're going to make hide and then appear as people guess um, whether the, when they guess a number if it's higher or lower we'll get the relevant arrow to pop up yeah.